Good morning. Good morning and welcome. Muy buenos días y bienvenidos sean todos. Welcome to the HES 2003 Best Practices Showcase Celebrating Technology Innovation for Hispanic Success in Higher Education. My name is Albert Troche and I will be your host. We are very pleased that all our presentations, as well as this open plenary, will be transmitted live. On behalf of the Hispanic Educational Technology Services Consortium, HETS, we would like to express our appreciation for joining us this morning. A very special welcome to all our virtual connected participants. First, we would like to acknowledge the presence of presidents and board members, representatives from Puerto Rico, United States, and Colombia accompanying us today. To all of you, thank you for being with us celebrating this special occasion. HES will also like to recognize the many corporations and organizations that have contributed to making this event possible. Our distinguished sponsors include Anthology, the Educational Testing Service, Incumatic, Cabimet, Interstaff, Peer Top Level Domain, Campus Care, and U Planner. Once again, thank you for your conditional commitment and support. To you, we, we extend our deepest appreciation. Thank you, Universidad Ana Jimenez, Carolina campus staff, and all of the HEADS member institutions who have contributed to making all this showcase possible. Welcome, bienvenidos. This historic event brings together for the sixth time in HEADS Chronicles an unprecedented amount of expert academicians. This outstanding group of professionals will be creating extraordinary synergy highlighting the most prominent opportunities to enhance Hispanic higher education through the savvy use of technology. The HEADS Consortium is overly excited to have been able to attain for this event the presence of more than 20 member institutions from Puerto Rico, United States, and Latin America. We also like to welcome attendees from other institutions and organizations who are joining us today as well. All of the HEADS institutions are naturally known for being at the forefront of the integration of new technologies to serve students, specifically our Hispanic community. More than 25 received proposals evidence this fact. At this moment, it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you Dr. Jubelkis Montalvo. The Board of Directors appointed Dr. Montalvo as their new Executive Director on January 2006. She has been able to take the consortium through a 17 years journey of consistent evolution expanding its membership, creating new services, and above all, promoting new educational technology options for its constituents. Let's off give a warm welcome and round of applause to Dr. Juvelkis Montalvo, HEADS Executive Director. Thank you, thank you so much. And um, we are pleased uh, that you accept our invitation today. Welcome to the ones who comes from Puerto Rico and Colombia, my dear colleague. Welcome to Puerto Rico. As executive director, I am very proud to have been able to organize this extraordinary event for our members, collaborators, peer organizations, and institutions. Thank you for your constant support and collaboration. I would like to extend my gratitude to the executive committee for not only supporting the decision to meet again in person during this event, but also in expanding our reach out program conducting this event uh, virtually and allowed us to transmit live presentations beginning with this open plenary. Also, we greatly appreciate the ongoing support of our members, the valuable collaboration of our corporate members and the consistent trust and guidance of the board of directors our staff, and especially the outstanding staff from our host institution today, Universidad Ana Jemendez Carolina Campus, coordinating all the logistics and technical requirements to connect not only participants, but also virtual presenters today and tomorrow. An event like this is the result of a great team effort so please help me recognize their effort with a round of applause to all of them. Thank you so much. Thank you. As a pioneer organization in the use of technology in higher education, HEADS is delighted to continue serving your academic community 
during this new academic scenario with its expertise and services. This occasion is a special one, not only because we are celebrating HED's 30th anniversary, but also because for the first time, we will be sharing a forum for talented students to showcase their innovative projects which they have been working within the academia. Definitely, this best practices showcase is an opportunity for academic leaders from member institutions to share their best knowledge and expertise, and also this time for students as well. And we hope that this will be an enriching opportunity from all of us. Finally, as we continue to work together, we will remind carrying out our mission, focusing on the transformation of teaching and learning through technology and the success of Hispanic students. Thank you again for joining us. And I hope this event will provide you with wonderful opportunities for networking with other key leaders and that you may acquire important tools, resources, and lessons to continue enhancing your practice and providing new opportunities for Hispanics in higher education. So thank you so much and enjoy the conference. Thank you, Dr. Montalvo. Now, please welcome our distinguished host for this extraordinary event, Dr. Jose Mendez, president of the Universidad, Ana Jimenez, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Carolina campus of Universidad Ana Jimenez. As many of you know, my father, Dr. Jose F. Mendez Gonzalez, was one of the founding members of HEST 30 years ago. So it is an honor that this event, which celebrates technology, innovation for Hispanic success in higher education, is taking place in this campus. Higher education institutions have great challenges. Everything the Hispanic Educational Technology Services does is essential for promoting and advancing innovation and leadership in more than 40 colleges and universities that are part of this organization. We thank, we thank all the panelists who will be part of the dialogue and conference that will take place during these two days. Everyone's commitment and dedication throughout the years have had great impact on the success of this wonderful organization. Once again, HEDS reaffirms its three decades of experience in interinstitutional collaboration, distance learning, and technology for teaching and learning. Today, we would like to thank Dr. Juvelkis Montalvo for the work that she does as executive director. Also to Dr. Carlos Morales, chair of the board of this organization that together with Juvelkis has shown great commitment towards institutional presidents, colleagues and collaborators of the different institutions of higher education they work with regularly. I hope the agenda plan for the next few days encourages everyone to continue promoting and supporting the efficient use of technology in learning, teaching, and also in the retention process. Keep working towards the goal of promoting new strategic allegiances that help us improve the services to the Hispanic communities we serve. We wish everyone great and successful days again. Thank you very much. To conclude with our welcoming remarks, it is a, with great pleasure to introduce you HEADS Chairman, Dr. Carlos Morales. Dr. Morales, who was elected Chair of the Board of Directors of HEADS Consortiums during the summer board meeting of June 2020. Please join me in welcoming to the stage, Dr. Carlos Morales, President of Rand Community College, TCC Connect Campus, and Heads Chairman of the Board. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Good. All right. Okay. I would like to express my appreciation to all member representatives, corporate partners, presenters, and participants here in person and those connected virtually to celebrate as well as to highlight the outstanding work of our member institutions that meaningfully and strategically use instructional technology to achieve Hispanic student success. We are pleased to see that this year's Best Practices Showcase program includes not only 
faculty and administrators presentations related to three major tracks focused on access, retention, and online, but also a new track on student presentations on the integration of technology. I'm very excited to see uh, that new track coming to life. As we navigated the challenges presented by the pandemic, we saw validation of the importance of distance learning and the use of instructional technologies to promote Hispanic student success. During this time, HEADS became even more relevant as a diverse consortium fostering and leading in the successful use of distance education practices and technologies. We have seen many advances, advancements in higher education throughout the years and we hope that the presentations and discussions during the conference will contribute even more to that transformation. Our goal in this activity will be twofold. The opportunity for students to present their innovative projects and the celebration of HEADS 30 years foundation. As part of the 30th anniversary celebration, this location was strategically selected by HEADS board of members to recognize Ana Mendes University one of our founding member institutions and its former president, Dr. Jose Mendez Gonzalez, who gladly accepted the request to be our host this today. So again, thank you for the host uh, service here. And also to the personnel of uh, Ana Mendez University, Carolina campus, he's physically here uh, where we are. Uh, sadly, Dr. Mendez passed away last month, but we would like to honor his legacy with a video when we celebrated HEAD's 20th anniversary. Through this video, I invite you to remember Dr. Mendes' vision, who envisioned HEAD's and how he saw its future 10 years ago. It has been 20 years since we founded what was initially incorporated as the Hispanic Educational Telecommunication System, better known as HEADS. In 1993, seven colleges and universities from Puerto Rico, New York, New Mexico, and Texas constituted the first Educational Telecommunications Consortium. Using technologies available at the moment, we took the leadership initiative to serve Hispanic communities by widening access opportunities, offering distance education courses. The initial objective was to provide services through satellite telecommunications to students from member universities. And as technology advanced, the services were expanded to include online course design, training and support services through our web portal and our virtual plaza. Gradually, we were able to have more universities, technology and education oriented organizations interested in this modality. To date, more than 40 educational institutions and organizations from Puerto Rico, United States and Latin America constitute heads. The development of online offerings evolved to where HEADS had to eventually change its official name to Hispanic Educational Technology Services. Distance education growth has exceeded the expectations of educational institutions. Several HEADS member institutions have formalized a virtual campus, including the Ana Mendes University System. Without a doubt, HEADS has had many accomplishments since its first funding award from the US Department of Commerce. The commitment of higher education leaders with vision is key to the celebration of this first 20 years. Let us continue advancing his mission to promote, support, and maximize the capacity of its member institutions through the integration of new technologies to enhance the success and academic opportunities of Hispanic students. I congratulate you and all of you. My biggest wish is that we have to continue to have heads for a long, long time for the pride of all.
Thank you very much for your attention. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to Dr. Mendes for his outstanding leadership and commitment with HEADS and its main priority focused on services and opportunities to foster access to Hispanic student success in higher education. Finally, I am deeply grateful for our affiliated members' active involvement and their commitment and fidelity, as well as their unwavering support of our corporate partners who have made it possible for us to provide services to our member institutions and for the best practices showcase to be highly successful, a highly successful event. So enjoy and thank you for being here.